Now in contrast with software libraries and software components, where the domain is clearly defined and might be a subset of all the values that you, that you can construct using the programming language, it's often the case that higher level software artifacts don't have the luxury of limiting their domains. And so one good example of this is an operating system. So here let's say we're testing a Unix platform, such as Linux or Mac OS X. Now I know we really haven't discussed this case yet, but I want to take a really quick quiz in order to start building up our intuition about testing. So this example it will be a very slightly simplified version of the Unix read system call. And this is a system call supported by, by all, all Unix platforms, so by Mac OS and Linux and, and, and others. All the read system call does is takes a file that's already open and reads some bytes out of it into the address space of the process that calls read. And so the read call takes three parameters. It takes an integer called fd, which is just a small integer rep referencing a file that's already open. It takes a second current parameter called buff, which is a pointer to a memory region, to, that is to say a valid memory region in the, in the process's address space. And finally, it takes a number of bytes. And so the quiz that we're going to take is, which of the following test cases constitutes a useful test case for the read system call? So our four test cases are, first, reading from file descriptor number one. This is always a valid file descriptor for a Unix process. From the address of B, and let's assume that um, refers to a valid memory region, and we're going to read 10 bytes. The second test case is also reading into variable B 10 bytes, but is specifying file descriptor negative 99999. The third test case is reading into file descriptor 1 using a pointer to an address, which is almost certainly a bad one. This is just a random hex con constant I just made up, also reading 10 bytes into there. And a final test case reads into file descriptor 1 into a valid address B, but reads minus 33333 bytes. So go ahead and write your answer. Write all of the test cases, write the letters indicated all of the test cases that you think are good ones for a Unix kernel in the space provided.